Hey there, this is Bike Shop Girl from CommuteByBike.com. Quick rundown of what we saw at the show on Friday. So the first thing, let's take a look at what the showroom floor looks like for you that haven't been here before. Pretty sparse at the end of the day, but Saturday is going to set record numbers. And then, next thing that we saw that was pretty cool was the Chris King Espresso Tamper. Exactly 58 millimeters of goodness. I'm Fish from Twin Six. What's on your head? It's a welder's hat. It's a wool hat handmade by Carly of Twin Six. And the welders wear them. It's got a pointy top on it like an elf. Why is it pointy? Um, it, yes. So sparks land on your head from yes, your welding. Yes, it's pointy so that sparks head. roll off your, your hat, don't land on your head and fry you. What more can a welder do? Here's a quick shot of some bits from Paragon Machine Works. These are the parts that are welded, you know, dropouts. You can kind of see some bottom bracket shells. And this is what makes up a bicycle frame. So all these things are welded to tubes and creates a bicycle. Once the show was over for the evening, we went to bicycling magazine's VIP party with pretty cool hell yes sprints if you haven't seen a roller race it's pretty cool to watch three guys connected to a computer on these rollers and they get up to speed and they basically out sprint each other watch for a few different heats um, these guys got up to about 60 possibly 70 miles per hour if you see any cold sprints in your area, go check them out. They're every man's sport. So we headed home. Well, headed back to our hotel. Edit some video, upload some pictures, check out flickr.com slash ARSBARS or commutebagbike.com for some photos. And we'll check back tomorrow with recap of day number two.